It's time for Christmas. Guys talk knives. Ho, ho, ho. Who are you calling a ho? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little slap happy. I'm telling you, it has been a season to remember. <laughs> the insanity has ended. Merry Christmas, Ish. people. This It is Christmas. <laughs> it is Christmas. And if you think that we are in the studio today filming on Christmas, you got another thing coming. We are. <laughs> We've decided to live here. <laughs> we have cots in the corner. Cots in the corner and a fat man coming down the cots chimney. Cots in the corner and the silver spoon. Wow. <laughs> Don't make me cry this episode. I know. It's the end of the year. It is Christmas time. When you pitched the idea for this episode... It was about the hats. I was, well, no. <laughs> though I do like it. Um, yeah. It was, it was really, I, I was like, I wonder what everybody else is going to bring. I stayed away from base camp because I didn't want to know. Christmas. This is the Christmas episode. So what we did was we're, we're going to reminisce a little bit about the year. We're yeah, going yeah. to talk about what our favorite knife from the year was because uh, right now it's Christmas and you cannot order anything and get it by Christmas because it is Christmas. Okay. But you can order these and have them turn of the year. You can. Some of them came back. I was so glad to see one of them come back. One of <sighs> yours. I'm, I'm not surprised of your picks at all. No one should be surprised. Everyone who pick. watches us could have guessed. Absolutely. At least who designed yours. So first of all, yes. let's say Merry Christmas from no Smoky doubt. Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. You guys have made it the best year ever. It's been a lot of fun. The SMKW Army, we <sighs> could not do it without you. That's exactly right. It, it, it's been just, I mean, a whirlwind. It's been, since we started doing this in March. March. It's been two of these a week. Yeah. Well, not right then, but certainly soon after that, it was two a week and getting to know some of the, some of the most fun people on the internet. Absolutely. I'm tuning in. Okay. Here's the thing. 44 episodes. Yeah. And that doesn't count the special episodes. No, of course that not. doesn't count national knife day where we oh went gosh. all day long. Doesn't count that at all. <laughs> that day hurt my doesn't head. count any of the features no. that we did. Doesn't count John and I's trip to Portland. Nope. Not at all. And that doesn't even touch, I guess, probably by now, 16, 17 lives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it's been, insane. It's been fun. It's it, been fun. It, it's been a blast, and we appreciate you going on this ride with us. We hope that you follow us into season two. Season two is going to be interesting. Season two, 2019, Lots right around the corner. So what was, what was your favorite thing that we did this year? Oh. <sighs> Probably. Uh, do you mean just for the show or just, just, just in general? The, just for the show. Just, just for, for the, the show. show. We're, we're going to reminisce about the show. Any of the episodes where Melina surprised us with items, I, uh, those are my highlight. Yes. When you say we're yes. doing one of those, I'm like, yes. no, I'm all in. Let's do a seven-hour one. I, it, she, of Melina just bringing stuff. Adding her to the show, adding Melina to the show. Oh, yeah. She's sitting right down she there is. right now. Uh, adding her to the show was a definite plus, oh, a bonus huge. for the year. Yes. Uh, and I almost picked that as my favorite thing. And and, and the reason being, because it's just funny. It, it's, it, it and, is uh, genuine, and it is funny, and it is... You would think at some point we would know everything we had in the store. I don't think so. Have she you been has, in that store? She, the, oh, she has one time not... She has one time brought one thing that I saw beforehand. Right. And that was only because when it came to our office, we all went, the heck is that? Exactly. And that was the Randall star. Exactly. The Randall star. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing that off the other weekend. I, we had family in and we came out to shop and uh, I said, you need to buy that. Because of the season I want to sing, it came up on a midnight clear all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, look, it's the Randall star the Randall in the sky. Star. So my, over Bethlehem. My favorite thing. <laughs> that scared <I> people. <laughs> Terribly. <laughs> the wing nut came off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say you bet your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stonkies oh, running away. That's right. That's right. Step, step uh, away. <laughs> One of the wise men brought the Randall star. <laughs> uh, so part, my favorite things, and this is going to sound terrible because you're sitting here with me. Some of my favorite times this year were when we had special guests in no, the no, studio sure, and different yeah. things like that. And so my uh, first chance to sit down with Josh Weston oh, was probably no my kidding. favorite of that because yes. I don't know, we vibed on a certain level and no, just, just getting him to guy. scream, this is Sparta with his so wrist carry funny. and all of that yeah. stuff. That was a fun, fun thing yes. to do. 
Um, it was it, it, for me. This show has been fun to realize that we didn't have to cap it at fifteen minutes. I told you that from the I know you did. Long form, and, brother. Yeah, it, 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 we just hit a point where it's like it's okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's you just, okay. You just talk until you're done. That's you right. talk until the conversation naturally That's ends, right. or one of us walks off. And, and to know, <laughs> to know the thousands of downloads on iTunes. Yes, that's insane. It just goes back. Any podcast that is popular, any YouTube video that is popular, it is just about having a serious, fun conversation about something people like. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't always have to be, well, here's the molecule that makes up this particular blah, 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 blah. Right. It doesn't have to be that. It can just be, I, I like that. I like that we sit around and we talk about sharp, pointy things. Yeah. And maybe a few movies. And, and, and other, whatever else pops up. I mean, uh, okay, another favorite was our Halloween episode, talking about zombies. <laughs> Dressed to the, was, the hilt. Yes, it was fun. Um, and, and it's just, that's what this is about. It really is. It doesn't have to be serious talk. Mm-hmm. All the time. Mm-hmm. Our various discussions about knife shaming. Mm-hmm. Not only did I enjoy them, oh. I think they were helpful. And do you want to talk about episodes that got play on the internet? Sure. Uh, that knife shaming episode, yes. it really resonated with people. I think people are sick of the trolls out there. I think people are sick of this oh, we are. BS that, you know, your knife has to be this for it to exactly. be good. Yeah. You can have whatever knife you love. Whatever, whatever you like. knife you like. Yeah. Enjoy. I don't care. It's your knife. I don't care if it has a little set of throwing stars right side in the middle. Or if it's the Randall star (laughs) and that's what you're going to carry is your EDC. If you EDC the Randall star, you are a better man than I across your chest on a Chewbacca (laughs) style. Do you leave it open and wing nut it in? Or is it just, no, if you didn't see the Randall star episode, go back and (laughs) look at it. It it was great. You need to have it concealed at all times. People just see a big chunk of metal (laughs) and you pull it out. And you're ready to go with a twist of a wing nut. You know, you could probably use that thing to cook on. <laughs> like, you know, you build your campfire up, you just spread it out and sit it on there. You like a coffee pot. That is uh, not how it was designed. Probably sir. not, but it no. would stick every time. Coffee pot, a little percolator resting on top. It's got a hole in the bottom for the wing nut to fit into. Uh, but we you know we, we had times. a blast this year. Absolutely. It's been very interesting. It's been a fun ride. And and again, I'm I'm like you, I'm looking forward to season I two. cannot say enough. Thank you for coming along on this ride. We yeah. look forward to what happens with season two coming up. But what we did today for today's show, <laughs> as we wind back into it, is I asked everybody on the team to pick their favorite knife from the year. And I wrote down every knife we'd looked at, and he looked at me and said, stop it. No. <laughs> and actually, he wrote down something first, and then he picked this one because he's never got to hold it. I never it got to see it because we now. kept selling out of so it because you people kept buying them. That's right. <laughs> so let's hit it. Yes. This Finally, is the Gerber flat iron in the guys talk knife studio is the Gerber flat iron because it can't be an end of 2018 show without a cleaver. <laughs> That's right. We talked about this and <laughs> this thing. Oh, look at I that. love it. Now flip it. I, I want to see the thickness oh, of you the blade. See. Oh yeah. It is ridiculous. So what we're looking at, if you're listening on the yes. podcast, is the Gerber flat iron. Yeah. Uh, it is a standard size everyday carry, but it's got the most gorgeous cleaver blade with like the sear. I think it's a, almost a hollow grind, isn't it? It really is, yeah. It is a great grind on the blade. It's got a big wide thumb hole. Uh, and this one happens to be the Makara version. It looks or the like, G10 version? G10. Um, G10 version. Yeah, G10 version. This The blade on that looks like a razor like a straight razor on steroids. It does. It does. I. This has uh, been the year of the cleaver. You do not have to sell me on this. It is the karambit of 2018. That's right. This thing is a frame lock. Yeah. And uh, they've done a great job of reinforcing this frame lock and, and making it fabulous. I love the pocket clip on this thing. Uh, the pocket clip is nice and small. But it's, it's wide. Not, yeah. It's, it's about wide. the girth. Yeah, it's about the girth. Um, again, this is, this is a smooth cleaver like anyone. And I've decided that it is a, it is a function of the knife that you don't have to have a flipper on a cleaver that's built correctly. Right. My artisan cleaver don't need the flipper. Right. The detente. It's the sheer weight of that blade. It's the it's sheer beating weight. the detente. You just flip it out and you're ready to roll. When he slices my arm off. That'd I'm be- not going to slice your arm off much. <laughs> Um, but I, I dig it. It is 40 bucks. Uh, this comes in a couple of different styles. It's a seven CR 17 MOV stainless steel blade, G 10 handle tip down pocket clip 
almost a four inch blade. Hey, if it's still in stock right now, you should buy it if you want it. Just <laughs> going to say. I'm going to say it's probably not. It, we can't keep these in. No. I went down one day. Pee Wee was working the Gerber counter and he went, we just got them in. Look at them quick. They're not going to be here long. Yeah. Don't take it away. He looked at me and said, it cannot leave the counter. <laughs> <laughs> he had boxes of them and said, no. Right, because they just sell that fast. People see it. It's a sexy knife. It is a gorgeous knife. Yeah. And I you no, know, I'm glad we finally got one for you to play with. It is it is maybe the most perfect cleaver yeah. that we have, size wise and everything. Yeah, next to Beaver, it's it's good. I, I may But everybody up, knows that Wally was the perfect cleaver, that's right? That's true. I may end up buying one of these. Look at that. Left oh, hand left with a thumb hand hole. With a thumb hole. Um I just I completely Love everything about this knife. It's a good knife. It, you, I mean, it is a good addition for knife of the year. Not quite as good as my pick. <sighs> but come on. How many times can you say this man's name? <laughs> Dimitri. Though, I can say it over and over again. I hope he well, never stops designing knives. Well, and it should Dimitri be said over and over. Sinkovich. And this is a sprint run of the Big Daddy. It is the bigger version of the 0460. It is the all black version of the 0462. I love this. It's beautiful. Love this. We're going to go up here, John. We're going to flick it. Action gasm. Every time with a yes. Sinkovich. I mean, look at the blade. I am going against gravity. We are talking about a full size yep. EDC pocket knife here with a, 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 it's almost a stretched out S shape because the, sure. the, the blade itself is got a heavy up sweep to it mm -hmm. it's long it's lean like all those new sinkovich designs the handle goes the reverse of that yeah and it fits in your palm so nice i want to see sinkovich and zt make a skinning knife that'd be pretty awesome just a, a fixed blade skinner yes they could jump markets yes <laughs> they really could that thing i swear would do the job without any problem at all yeah, so where you would normally have red CF handles, you have yeah. all black CF handles, all black spacers, all black Gorgeous. hardware, yeah. uh, a blacked blade. DLC this, coded? Uh, DLC. Yes. Yeah, of course. DLC yeah. coded, yeah. It's ZT, come yeah. on. And the the uh, the uh, S35 VN. S35 Just, VN. That knife is so light. I think if Blade showed this year, I'm just going to kiss Dmitry Sinkovich right on the lips. He's going to stab you. He could. And I'm going to have to do the show by myself. He could. This knife, I mean, if you compare the two, uh -huh. there is no comparison on the weight. Of course, because that's CF. This is a bigger knife. Right. This is so super light. Right. Now, this one's going to take a dent out of your pocket. It's, it's, it's going to oh, be no, that. But it's, but it's, it's worth it. Yes. It's, it's, they're not comparable. You're, you're talking about a sprint run here that there's not going to yeah. be a ton more of these. No, we finally not. got more of these in stock to send yeah. to you. Freaking gorgeous. $220. Yep. Right but in line it's with 220 for a Sinkovich-designed ZT sprint run that if you are a fan of the kind of the, the SWAT all blacked out spec ops look. Carbon fiber titanium. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. It is what it is. Yeah. We've hit that point. I could have picked that though. You could have. I'd have just have been like, hmm, stab Andy's with it. knife of the year. Oh, it's going to be a Sinkovich. <laughs> of course it is. One of any of the ones that he owns or wants. <laughs> Do you hear that off in the distance? <laughs> that it's time for a break? It's Santa Claus saying it's time for a break. He's galloping in. He's actually riding Cupid. Santa does not gallop. Santa might waddle a no, bit. No, no, Have you watched the Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell? No, I have not. You need to. Okay. Kurt Russell is Santa. Freaking awesome. Oh, good. And I'm going to spoil it. I can only see him as Wyatt Earp in Tombstone. Uh, Jack Burton in Go Big ahead, Trouble Little China. Go ahead, skin that meat wagon. <laughs> Jack Burton, Big Trouble Little China. On the yeah, Pork Chop true. Express. There's a lot, of good, uh, a lot of good Kurt Russell out there. There are no bad Kurt Russell movies. Call me Snake. Oh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. Don't sass Kurt Russell. <laughs> Don't sass Kurt Russell. That's just like one level below Chuck Norris. That's right. And we are not brought to you by Chuck Norris, nor are we brought to you by Kurt Russell. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works <laughs> on Christmas Day, right here in the studio right. for you, because at because some point- we love you. No, at some point you got <laughs> sick of listening to your nephew's drum set. Uh, at some point you decided that uh, the burn pile in the back of the- uh, Christmas oh, yeah. wrapping paper was just too big to deal sure. with at this point, and you just wanted to watch something fun about sharp pointy things. Well, you That's lost why a we kid were in the wrapping paper pile. Exactly. That's why the SMKW Army has your back. And it never stops. Right here 
on Facebook, right here on Twitter. Oh, he's got a ball in his face. Right here on Instagram. <laughs> Could you please take your ball off the mic? <laughs> we are, Melina is losing it over <laughs> off camera. So we are going to take a little bit of a break right That's why now. why they don't give me props. This is Guys Talk Knives. <laughs> we'll be right back with more. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good ho ho ho. Thank you. That was nice. It is, we are back with more guys talk knives on Christmas Day. We're doing our favorites. We are. We actually get to jump into Melina's favorite Christmas knives. Or fa- have, favorite knives of the year. I would not have picked those as her favorites. I don't know what I would have picked. I would have because she's been an integral part in putting oh, well, artisans no, no, for sure in yes. front of the world. I like the fact that we went for their more practical size. Yes. Oh, this was her. These are these are awesome. This is what was said to me. Oh, give me a shark. Don't get the big one. <laughs> I want the small one. I like the purple the best, but they didn't like the purple. <laughs> these were the exact words that were used to me. Okay, so I picked two sharks that just so awesome. we could reiterate exactly what was great about the sharks. So I'm going to start with the cheap one. Yes. Cheap one. The cheap one, yeah. The less expensive version. This is the... Now, it, We've talked about this before. Artisan does a great job of saying, here is a style of knife, and we're going to give you eight versions mm-hmm. that'll range from $180 to $40. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in this case, what you're looking at is the $45 Artisan Cutlery Shark. It has a black G10 handle, stonewash D2 tool steel blade. Um, for those of you listening, just to better describe this thing, it has a nice, narrow, tapered blade. It has a relatively small handle think of a mako yes yes and the the dorsal not the dorsal fin but the side fin the side fin, is yeah. the flipper and that's what you're looking at here yeah. give us a little bit of length so that they understand what we mean by small so overall you're looking at a seven inch knife opened right you're looking at a three inch drop point blade right four inches closed this is your perfect mid-sized Everyday carry pocket knife. Yeah, and as always with Artisan, you got ceramic ball bearings, even yes, in this D2 version and the completely reversible uh, pocket clip. And you have great accents on this too. So under that G10 handle, you have this nice blue liner. Yeah, and I can see it flick as I go. Yeah. Ding, ding. Uh, the pocket clip is fantastic. It's reversible, I believe. Yes, it, uh, every one of them. Every one of them. Every one of them is. One of them is. <clears throat> so these, the action yeah. on the Artisan Super is, fast. is it's unreal. I mean, I love this artisan. $45. $45. You take a step up from there, though, Yeah. with the other, and this is the same pattern, oh. same shape, but you're talking about a knife now, and I'm going to hold it down here. It's two. This so, thing has... This one is S35VN stainless steel mm-hmm. on the blade. Goodness. And then blue titanium handles. Mm, with a carbon fiber overlay. Yeah. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Flip it back on the on the so we can see the back of it. You've got these nice accents and spacers. Look at that. It it like goes purpley blue in the spacer. And even the pocket clip itself. Uh-huh. Also titanium. Uh-huh. And it's reversible. Yep. As always. And the action is just as good. Yeah. And you Flip also on the on this upgrade you move from a liner lock to a frame lock. Oh yeah. I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the frame lock on this one yeah. as well. Uh Artisan can't be beat. Great nope. choice by Melina, and thank her very much. Everybody out there in Internet Land with the yes. involved with Smokey at all, and probably the people of Artisan probably just need to give her a nice little fat check on yes, the side they do. <laughs> because she saw him out there. She listened to the guys in the showroom, yeah. and she said, "Let's get them all." And then Pat Tyler pipes on the back too because he went to bat and put them all out yes. there, and then the team got them all out on the internet. If you have not gone and played an Artisan, do it. It is no so kidding. worth it. It is so worth it. And if you're like, we well, you know it's new. I don't know what to start with. Start with one of the with one of the more affordable models. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and start with with mm-hmm. a G10 model with D2 still. My artisan tomahawk is D2. I love it. Yep. I have used that knife for literally everything from cutting fruit to opening boxes and whatever. Right. And it's it's perfect. The final knife. Yes. From the other member of our team. From Mr. John. Mr. John, the man behind the cameras, the man running the switcher, the man putting up all the graphics. Maybe the knife we've talked about the most. And shown the most. It is the SEJG5. This was the brainchild of James Gibson, but we sparked that little note. Yes, we did. Ding! Maybe we could do a Nesmuk. Yeah, this is the Sears 
George Washington Sears. George Washington. I never can remember his first name. George Washington Sears Nesmuk. So this is the one that he carried while he was exploring, while he was while he was out in the in the in the West. Um, it is beautiful. You have this nice. Why did you just gonna make up? Tell me the rest of this story because I don't think that's what he did. <laughs> yeah, he was out in the south. He was out in the West. Was he out in the West? No, yeah. he was the one that taught you kayaking and day camping and light ultra light camping. I'm not wrong on that, am I? Nesmuk George Washington Sears, and he wrote for Field and Forest. Yeah, but he was out in the West. Okay, he could he be in the East. He could be anywhere. Kephart was in the East. Oh. Years before him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is an upswept, upswept <laughs> Skinner style blade. You've got a 90 degree spine on it, so you can use it for striking. Sculpted Makarta handles. About nine inches on this thing. Yeah. Uh, and it's about equally balanced between handles. It really blade. is. It, we've talked about it so much, you know what it is. Yeah. You're it, tired of hearing it, of it, but I, you're wrong. I'm because telling it's you. amazing. 115, get you this knife. It is perfect for everything you want to do with it. <laughs> so I've got a story for you. Okay. Came in here, Black Friday weekend, had relatives in, they wanted to shop. Uh huh. So Matt, my wife's uncle, who's like two years older than me, yep. had never seen this or the PR4. Right. Um, he's torn. Oh, he's like, he I decide. really like the cat part. He said, but that, that nest book is really kind of awesome. And he is, he is a, he's a farmer. They have goats. He hunts uh-huh. and he doesn't know which one. And I keep telling him just to buy both. Um, he told me to shut up, Yeah, but he's, <laughs> he's buying one of them soon. Yeah. He is super excited. Nice. Uh, because he was like, I said, wooden handle. I said, Nope. McCarter. He went, yeah. Oh, and he picked it up and held it. And he was uh-huh. equally smitten. As impressed then completely. Smitten. Absolutely. Completely. Smitten. Yeah. So those are our favorite Knives of the year. Did you raise your hand? Why are you raising your hand? Up north. north yes. Okay. See, that's what I, I thought. Was wrong. I read you Field didn't and Forest. Know. I'm just telling you, he was more into you teaching people nothing. to go light camping. He is like he is like the the founding father of what people know today as ultra light camping. Sure. So you get your canoe, you put your back on your pack on your back, and yeah. you just go in the freaking woods and you stay for a few days. That's that's basically <laughs> that's what awesome. Nesmuk was all into. So <clears throat> because I can see our time. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason cannot. Yes. I have no more stories. I just want to say Merry Christmas. No kidding. And Happy New Year. And we look forward to a season two of greatness, of, of greatness. joy, of ridiculous chatter on and this knives. idiot box. Lots and lots of knives. Lots of sharp, pointy things. Sharp, pointy things Joyous, everywhere. Sharp, pointy things. And 100,000 members. That's right. In the SMKW Army. In 2019, that's what we're going to do. We're going to yes. top 100,000 members, and we're going to celebrate that when it happens. We don't know how yet. Guys. Something big. Brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com. This has been the Christmas episode of Guys <laughs> Talk Knives. We'll catch you next year. Definitely. High five. Let's go!